What's up guys, it's Geeks Connor here, and today I'm going to show you how to install AltStore onto your Mac. Now you can install this on Windows as well, but I haven't got access to a Windows machine at the moment. So we're just going to open up our browser of choice and type in AltStore. And then down here, if you're going to click on how to install AltStore Mac OS, this way then it gives you access to all the files directly. So we're going to click in here first of all, where it says download AltStore for Mac OS. And then once you click on there, it's going to start downloading that for you into your downloads folder. Now we're going to be using Mac OS 10.14, but if you have an older version, you can do that as well. And then we're going to open up our downloads and then double click to unzip it. And then we're going to drag this to your applications folder. And then you can go straight into your applications and open this up. Now on first launch, it is going to ask you to verify it. So we're going to click on open and then it's going to ask you to allow notifications so obviously we're going to click on allow and then we're going to click on the alt store in the notification bar here and then we're going to click launch on login so that way every time we log into our computer it's going to launch automatically ideally if you have your mac on always this will be better and then we're going to go over then to our ios device next and then we're going to plug in our device and then we're going to click on trust and then you're going to pop in your passcode then for your device. Now, just for this purpose of the video, I'm going to be using an iPad, but you can use this on a iPhone as well. It obviously depends on your choice. Okay, so back onto our Mac, we're going to click on Alt Store in the toolbar here. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Install Alt Store and on to Grumpy Geek. And that is then where you're going to put in your Apple ID and your password. And we're going to go ahead now and go through to the settings on the iPad. And then once you're in settings, you're going to click on general and then VPN and device management. And then we're going to click on developer app where it's got your email. We're just going to click on that box there as well. And then it's going to ask you to trust. Now, I've already trusted this myself, so it just gives me the option to delete apps. And as you can see, I've already installed Alt Store, and I've also included Spotify as well whilst I was testing for the making of this video. Next, we're going to go down to security and privacy, and then we're going to click on developer options at the bottom, and we're going to turn that on. And it's going to ask you to restart your device. So first off, you need to go ahead and do that. Again, I've already done this for the purposes of this video. Okay, so on restart, we're going to open up the Alt Store. And then we're going to go ahead and click on My Apps. And as you can see, Alt Store is in there. And it renews in seven days. Otherwise, without that, this isn't going to work. So it's going to automatically renew every seven days for yourself. But you can click on Refresh in it if you want to. Obviously, it's failed at the moment but that's how you refresh it then when you're on the same Wi-Fi as the Mac that you're using. Okay, guys, and there you go. That is Alt Store installed on your Mac and your iOS device. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.